time to get ready for my big day. Gotta film some videos, gotta get my socks and shoes on, but you already know it's backwards day, so we gotta do it backwards. Next word is banana. Children, their hello o going at house. Day backwards, it's remember. Ah, backwards day. Hopefully you're doing it. I don't know how crazy we can get, right? I watched a video, a guy put his shoes on and he put his socks on over his shoes. I wasn't gonna get that crazy. But I've got my jacket on backwards. I've got my, uh, my mask on backwards, my hat on backwards, my pants on backwards. So I'm ready. And I had an idea right as I hit the button to, to start this thing. Let's do twos, fives, and tens, but let's go backwards. So we'll start at 100, we'll go back to zero with tens. We'll start at 50, go back to zero with fives. We'll start at 20 and go back to zero with twos. This is gonna be a challenge, but let's do it. We'll do twos, we're gonna start at 20. This is gonna test your brain, so if you just wanna watch, that's okay. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, eight, six, four, two, zero. Just what we always do, just bringing it back. This time, fives at 50, going back to zero. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. I don't know why I'm swimming, but I'm ready to get in the lake and swim to Canada. My parents and my grandparents, we have a cottage. A uh, cottage is like a little summer home. Uh, near like Silver Creek, which is about 40 minutes from here. And uh, we used to always joke about that. You're going to swim to Canada because it's across the lake. All right, tens from 100 down to zero. We can do this one. You can do this one. Here we go. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, zero. I don't even know if I did it correct, but I think I did. I think I did. All right, so welcome to Backwards Day. I hope you enjoyed those videos at the beginning. The one was a guy I found who was doing Backwards Day himself. The other was a fun one, a fun game you could play. Not really helping us with our math, but it would help us with our ELA skills is someone gives you a word and you have to say it backwards, right? It's hard. You kind of have to look at the sounds and kind of figure out what sounds they make going backwards. But that's a fun game. Those kids were saying banana backwards, right? That was a tough one. And then the last clip was from a movie I always loved, which was Ace Ventura, uh, this man, he was a pet detective. His job was to find pets that were missing. And he was trying to get into a hospital, so he was acting very silly. And he did, let's see that again, an instant replay. And went, <laughs> right? Ton of fun. All right, I got some good stuff for you today. I'll see you in a second. Pusau, Simo. What's up, homies? <laughs> I practiced that one for a minute. All right, so listen, um, we've done a lot of addition, teen addition. Now some larger number addition, right? Like when we go from one group of tens, like 46, and we add more and it's gonna bring us to another 10, right? It'll take us to the 50s. But let's talk about some strategies how we do this. So the math problem I wrote up here was 46 plus seven. Say it with me, 46 plus seven. Now I wanna show you two different ways you could do this and I'm gonna have a fun game for you to play. It's kind of like a, a secret code you're gonna have to solve. So one way you can do this, is 46 plus 7 is you could write 46 plus and I'm gonna use seven ones here to help me now I want to get to numbers that are easy to add and subtract and decade numbers like 10 20 30 40 50 60 they're easy to add and subtract so 46 is very close to 50 so let's get to 50 okay so here's what I'm gonna do 46 47 48 49 50 now watch what I'm gonna do 
This 46 plus these four, they make 50. So now I have 50. And I'm going to write 50 plus. Now how many ones do we have left over? 1, 2, 3. So now it's 50 plus 3. Same answer as 46 plus 7. It's just an easier way to look at it. We made a whole new 10. 50 plus 3 is 53. So 50 plus 3 is 53. 46 plus 7 is also 53. It's just another way to look at it. Now, another way you could do it, it's whatever way is best for you, is at the bottom here, I have, here, I'll move it up a little bit. I used only base 10 blocks. So I have, let's count, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, plus 5, 6, 7. Okay, still 46 plus 7, just another way to look at it. Again, I want to make something easier to add. 50 is going to do that for me. So watch. I know that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I made a whole new 10. Now when I do this, there's four 10s. There's going to be a fifth 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 1, 2, 3, 5 10s. 3 ones, 53. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen our friend Puzzle Penguin. I'm going to call him and look for him. I'll be right back. All right, it's been a minute. Where's our boy at? Oh, Puzzle Penguin. That's one. Oh, Puzzle Penguin. That's two. Oh, Puzzle Penguin. Ah, there's our boy. Oh, he's getting into backwards today. Oh, and he actually wanted me to call him by his backward name. So his new name, I will try this. It's very hard to say. It is Delzup Nignip. Let me say it one more time for you. Delzup Nignip. That's Puzzle Penguin backwards. Puzzle Penguin, will you be willing to help us? Yes, I will. All right. Be right back with you. All right, so we got our buddy... However the heck you say it backwards, Puzzle Penguin. Back in the building. Now listen, we've been practicing while you were gone a lot of addition facts. Practicing big ones, right? Going from like 38 plus 5 or 48 plus 7. We need your help. Will you help us, Puzzle Penguin? I'm trying to make him say yes. It's more like got this little shoulder bob, like, yeah, let's party. But Puzzle Penguin's in. All right, you're going to whisper in my ear what you want me to do. 38 plus 5. Now, if you were listening, mm -hmm, right? He knows. Make a new 10. Okay, cool. So, tell me what to do. Yep. Okay. 38, he knows, is close to 40. We need one, 39, 40. We need two more ones. So, he's going to take two of the ones and make 40. Okay. So, now we have 40 plus. Now, puzzle, peg of 40. What? No, I know, but it's the... Right. Okay. Okay. So, puzzle, peg How many ones are we going to put? <sighs> And 45. Listen, man. I don't invite you back often because you do not pay attention. You need to focus. Get some rest. You know, come in with a good attitude like the kids. When they come in, they have stuff all over their desk. They're playing with their friends. They're talking to someone on the rug. They're not listening to what we're saying. And then it comes time to learn the skill and they can't learn it. And it's their fault, because they're smart. They can do it just like you. Do you know what Puzzle Penguin did wrong? Let's take a look. He did it right. He made 38 plus 2. He made a new 10. He made 40. How many ones are left over? Just three. He added all five of them. So that was the silly mistake Puzzle Penguin made. So we know it's 40. There's three left over. 40 plus 3 is 43. 38 plus 5 is 43. All right, I'm going to come back with a secret code puzzle for you to solve and um, I look forward to it see you in a moment there young people hey boys and girls your buddy Mr. Duty here this is what I'm gonna look like in a few years very dashing I'm mad anyways I've got a fun little activity for you wait what's that uh, sure let's dance let's dance let's bob a neck like this let's dance let's go all right anyways I got a fun activity for you uh, up on the InWrite board, I'm going to show you a Google slide that you're going to fill out. There's going to be addition problems like we just solved, 38 plus 5, 47 plus 6. And underneath the answer, there's going to be a letter. You're going to use those letters to solve a mystery word. So let me show it to you. All right, so guys and gals, I just thought a fun 
activity for you to do to practice these skills would be this. This is similar to a page you're going to do in math, or maybe you've already done it actually in the math journal. But what I have here is a bunch of math problems, right? 45 plus 7, 30 plus 5, 59 plus 3. Like the problems we practiced, where you go into a new decade, right? A new 10. Not all of them, but some of them. So here's how you do this. Your first job is to solve the math problem. So like the first one, 45 plus 7, okay. Well, you could draw your ones and figure it out. I'm going to figure it out a different way. I'm going to go 45 and 7 more. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So I know my answer is 52. So on my Chromebook or at home, wherever you do your work, I'm going to click on that box. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me the ability to type. And I'm going to write 52. Now, the next one says 30 plus 5. Well, that's what I want you to know right away. 30 plus 5 is, you're right, 35. Now, here's what I want you to see. And here's how this is going to work. And I hope you're going to enjoy this. At the very bottom, I have numbers, 52, 70, 70, 52, 35, 20, 62, 16, 85, 75. When you get your answer, what you're going to do is you're, like this one answer was 52. So every answer down here that's 52, you're going to put the letter D. So I'm going to put a D in that 52. I'm going to look to see if there's any other 52s. Yeah, there's one right here. I'm going to put a D in that 52. And then the y, was third, the y was 35, so I'll put a y there. And what you're going to notice as you go, this is eventually going to spell something. I'll write a little secret code for you. Now, the only thing that's going to be a little tricky is this. If you get the wrong answer, like let's say I got 51. Well, is there a 51? No. Then you go back and check your work. But D, Y, P, O, Z, E, R. This one's a four. I did it on purpose. Instead of the word for, F-O-R, I tried to make it shorter so it would fit. When you do solve this one, the number four is going to go in one of these boxes. It's going to spell something, just something goofy to make you have some fun. Hope you enjoy. Okay, now it was backwards day today. What could the next one be, Mr. D? What could the next one be? Let me think on it. I'll be right back. All right. Next math lesson is going to be rhyming day. Now, you might be saying, what the heck is rhyming day? I don't know. But I'm out of ideas, so I got to try. Now, we know what a rhyme is, right? Two words that sound the same. Bear, chair, dog, log, um, bag, leg. But when I'm teaching the math lesson, I'm going to try to sneak some rhymes in as we're going to help us learn and also help to keep it fun. We'll also come up with some ideas uh, during that lesson. Maybe every time I rhyme, we do a little dance. Or every time I rhyme, we do five push-ups. Or something just to have it, have it be a fun thing. So, see you next time. It's going to be a rhyming day. I hope you'll be here in every way. Your boy, Mr. Duty, will bring a good time. You bring the learning, I'll bring the rhyme. <laughs> Look at that. That was without even writing it down. See you next time.